In this video, we'll be solving a numerical related to the normal distribution. So the problem statement says that in a normal distribution, 31% of items are under 45 and 8% of items are over 64. So we have to find the mean and standard deviation of distribution. So first, let's write the given values that is p of x under 45 less than 45 gives 31 percent and p of x over 64 greater than 64 gives 8 percent 31 percent can be also written as 0 0.31 and 8 percent can be written as 0 0.08 so yeah we all know that for all values of x the standard uh, normal variate that is z is equal to x minus mu by sigma okay so at x is equal to 45 we get z1 is equal to 45 minus mu by sigma so this is our first equation and at x is equal to 64 we get z2 is equal to 64 minus mu by sigma. This is our second equation. So, uh, here we have given that p of x is less than 45. That means p of z is less than z1. That is equal to 0 0.31 from this given statement. This can also be written as p of z plus phi of z1 because here lesser than sign is used no so we can add we can use plus addition addition symbol here 0 0.31 we know that p of z is equal to 0 0.5 plus phi of z1 is equal to 0 0.31 so phi of z1 send 0 0.5 that side so phi of z1 would be minus 0 0.19 so Using the uh, normal probability table or using the calci, you can find out the phi value or the or you can find out the z value. Sorry. So, yes, 0 0.19. So, check wherever 0 0.19 is there here. So, 0 0.19 is here. Okay. Here, 0 0.19 is here. So, it comes under 0 0.500. So, z value would be z1 would be 0 0.5 similarly they have given that p of x is greater than 64 that means p of z minus phi of z2 will give 0 0.08 so we know that this is 0 0.5 so minus phi of z2 is equal to 0 0.08 minus 0 0.50 so if you solve this phi of z2 is equal to 0 0.42 so z2 value would be 0 0.42 is given there so find 0 0.42 where is it 0 0.42 is at 1.41 1.41 so it will be approx to 1.4 talks to 1.4 yes 1.401 yes so once we have found the values of z1 and z2 we have to substitute it in the this equation in order to get mu and sigma okay so our next step would be let's write the z1 value that is 45 minus mu by sigma on the other hand z2 is equal to 64 minus mu by sigma z1 value we found it as 0 0.5 is equal to 45 minus mu by sigma and z2 we found it as 1.401 is equal to 64 minus mu by sigma now send sigma to the other side 0 0.5 sigma is equal to 45 minus mu and 1.4 sigma is equal to 64 minus mu So when you solve these two simultaneously equations